Florida is one step closer to limiting classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity. The Parental Rights and Education Bill is now headed to the full Senate. Critics have sounded the alarm, calling it the Don't Say Gay Bill. New Six's Lauren Cervantes was listening in. So, Lauren, what's next here? Well, after much debate today, the Parental Rights and Education Bill now heads to the floor where it will be read twice and voted on. And we've been following this bill last week as it moved through the House and today saw debate in the Appropriations Committee. Now, this is HB 1557, dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Now here's what it includes. It prohibits classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in primary grade levels K through third grade. It also forbids districts from implementing any policies requiring school personnel to withhold information from a parent about their child's mental, emotional, or physical health. But the bill does allow for certain exemptions if it's believed the information would result in abuse or abandonment of a child. During committee debate Monday, legislators voicing their opinions. They also heard from students, one from Seminole County. Take a listen. The same people who support this bill call me an abomination. Had I had teachers that stood up for me or could help me better understand what I clearly did not understand, I would not have had to hide myself or lie about who I am. You say these discussions should only happen between a parent and a child. Not all children are the same. I didn't run home to ask my parents what these things were. I was scared and ashamed. I believe it's imperative if we love children that we put parents in charge and that these intimate decisions of their life should not be made by an institution. They should be made in a family, if at all possible. Now, the bill could be read twice in the same day or could come back the next day for the second reading, and then it would be voted on. For now in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.